I'm interested in stem cells, adult stem cells. And we get these cells um, from the fat. So patients who are undergoing liposuction, uh, we get liters of fat from these guys because one man's trash is another man's treasure. And within this fat, we've got really cool cells, the stem cells that we're interested in. And we can take this fat, process it in the lab and grow it on little plastic dishes. And this allows us to purify these really cool cells, which we can change into either fat forming cells, cartilage forming cells or bone forming cells, um, which obviously has implications for use in regenerative medicine. So for example, patients who have osteoarthritis, they are losing cartilage and bone. And what the hope is, is that one day we can use these cells to regenerate the joints. And there's lots of other applications we can use them for as well. So currently, and this has been the way that people grow the cells internationally all around the world, we, you have to grow the cells in on these plastic dishes for a couple of weeks to get a pure population. And we know that that makes them lose their potency. So one thing these cells can do is kick out little proteins that are important in wound healing and um, suppressing the immune system. So sometimes the immune system can become overactive and these cells can help calm it down. So a lot of the benefits of the cells are being lost when we do the standard culture. So we're working on ways to avoid growing the cells in plastic at all and just taking them straight from the fat where we think they are their most potent. We've got a unique method um, based on sort of some existing technology. We've just used a unique application of that and we find we're getting lots of cells. So yield obviously is important. You need to have enough cells to be useful in the clinic. So we're getting clinically useful yields. And our initial data suggests that they're much more potent than the standard grown cells.